been uh, directed here by someone yeah it's true we did that and whatever you saw there is actually one of the most uh, difficult things i had to accept to do in person yes whatever you saw there is my past yeah my past and i thought i should let everybody or everybody everyone who is passing through the same thing to uh, be so open and never be afraid of another human being holding something like that against you just because he or she feels that it's not right in the first place you didn't make that to or you didn't do any legal thing yeah now talking about those people who have been seeing like um videos going online online yeah we had to we had to make it clear we had to make it trend reason being i had to let everybody who feels like uh, uh my past should be paid by money no bro uh, in one way or the other let me explain to you for those people who don't know what exactly has been happening yeah since 2019 let me not even talk about 2022 right now because the video and the photos you see there are very old photos of me yeah let let me let me just uh, rephrase it yeah that's my past like seven to eight years ago and yeah you're right that's uh the young me the young me who never knew what he was doing because in one way or the other he was desperate uh, of love desperate of money desperate of making it neither did i know that uh one day i'll be a celebrity i'll be famous or i'll be having money okay so once people notice that now i have what it takes for me to pay for my past someone came to me uh back then the videos that i was doing uh that back then was to impress someone who i thought i loved or someone who i thought would help me go to the united states of america i know most people pass through this and they don't say this back then when i was young i thought this person whatever i was doing whatever i can do to impress that person she and uh, actually it was a couple let me not lie to you it was a couple yeah it was a couple because um i was dating back then and i had uh, like a girlfriend my girlfriend who used to be my girlfriend then before can tell you the reality we never did that and that's the same person who told us what to do because um he wanted what he wanted but for us we were trying to survive we thought that this person would uh, always uh, take care of us take us to the united states of america i'm talking of eight years back eight years back so anybody who is going through that thing right now this is me the real sami boy right now and um i want to tell you let nobody uh, uh blackmail you because of your past because of what you did whatever that or oh, that couple did for us and now he came back after we dismissed the fact that we have found other ways of earning we had to learn the hard way okay the hard way because we didn't go to the united states as promised and um most people never want to talk about that so me talking about that is the fact that i was tired of someone coming to my dm every time telling me oh send me fifty thousand, send me twenty thousand because uh i will expose you expose me for what i didn't kill anybody i accept the fact that in one way or the other i did things to impress someone because i was desperate i was poor i never had a way and all i needed was food and to survive but never did i know i'll be a celebrity and my past will haunt me it's a price to pay for being famous but whoever who is uh, watching that and laughing because if he, he or she feels like oh this guy is no no right now uh, god made a way for me and right now i am 
uh, Sami boy who you know now. And uh, for those people who think that um, whatever was happening, oh, this guy was gay. No, I'm not gay. <laughs> I have already explained. Circumstances make you do things. Whether love, desperation, money. But you have to man up or you have to be a real a person to accept that your fact, uh, that your past made you who you are today. Most people go through this. And they don't talk about it. Maybe you are a lady, you sent your, your, your boyfriend thinking like your boyfriend is uh, loves you or something. And later when you break up, he wants to use that against you. I'm going to tell you today, never let that put you down. I knew and I, I was so ready about this. For those people who checked up on me, I appreciate you so much. And thank you for checking up on, on me. I was ready and I knew what I was doing. But I rather finish it up once for all rather than people going uh, this this same so-called person uh threatening me asking me for money every time oh nipati 100k for what reason because you are the same person who is spread who is spreading hate just because you think uh my present doesn't match what i used to be you can't pull me down to the fact that right now i can be able to take myself to the united states of america and for those friends who have been close to me, who have been spreading all this hate, it's high time you know that we now know who, who are those people who stood up by us. Because we don't need no, no people. Me personally, I don't need nobody to pay my bills. I was ready when I, I knew at some point in life this would happen to me. Okay, And before it happened to me, I was so ready because I don't need to beg anybody to send me money or to pay money for anything for me because uh friends are some people who spread i know they have been laughing they think like we don't know some of them want to text on of course you don't even ask your people about mental ill uh, mental health you think like um uh, uh social media bullying will make you feel good no and whoever who thinks like um talking bad about me uh basically you you and me we are in different levels right now as we speak and uh, find this as a motivation and anybody who is going through uh, something like this don't let anybody and i quote don't let anything lower you to that extent and if you feel like you love someone don't ever do what i did on my past because you don't know what life got for you okay the fact like right now I'm a self-made millionaire, I'm not afraid of losing any brand or I'm not afraid of losing any friend because I don't have real friends. Those I have are my brothers. They stood by me when I was down, when I had no money. We struggled together and that's why we are here together. Okay? And let it be uh, a lesson. And whoever feels like it was an exposing, no. We did that on purpose. And we wanted to let people know we did it. Cheers and have a good evening.